Hey Dad, this is Spencer and I'm going to show you uh, through a screencast how you can share your iPhoto photos on Facebook. Um, so to start off, I'm going to assume that you have your photos already loaded into iPhoto off the digital camera. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then we're going to have to start over from there. But the first thing to do is to open up iPhoto, uh, which might be on the bottom on your screen, but on mine it's on the left there. Um, so click on that until and wait for iPhoto to open. Okay, um, I don't know how your iPhoto opens, but mine opens and it looks something like this. Uh, but the best way to go from here to find your pictures is to click on uh, events in the upper left under library. And if that doesn't pull it up, you see there's that little tab up there, that arrow that says all events. Click on that to see all your pictures. And so when you have this screen, um, you can scroll around and find the set of photos you want. Uh, so do that until you have the ones you want and then um, click on the picture so you have all the photos in front of you. And then uh, when you're looking at this screen where you have the pictures laid out in front of you, um, what you want to do is click on the picture that you want to go on to Facebook so that it's highlighted in yellow, um, which I've done of the one on the stained glass windows in the middle of the screen on mine. Just click on it once. You don't have to double click it so it opens in the full screen just once so you get that yellow box around it. What you need to do now is you need to look outside your iPhoto window and look at the very top bar on your entire computer screen up there where it has the Apple symbol. It says iPhoto, File, Edit, Photos, Events, Share, uh, View, Window, Help. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking on the File tab. So that's where we're focused right now. And when you click on File, you get the following drop down menu. And the one that we're going to do is a part of the way down where it says Export right there. That's the one that you want to be clicking on. And now you should get this screen and um, you can see that top bar there. It says Facebook file export web page. And then it was it say quick time or something next to it on that top little menu bar. Uh, iPhoto has a really cool integration with Facebook. So if you click on the Facebook tab there, so it's highlighted blue, you can just shoot them up directly to Facebook. It's actually a really cool thing that iPhoto has. And then what you're going to need to do is on the left hand side, you're going to need to click login. Um, now it's probably going to ask you for your email address and password. Um, so your email address would be Michael Merziesk at sbcglobal.net. And then the password, um, I believe you said it was supposed to be, well, you know what it is. Um, so type it in there and then click login. And it might have the turning little circle for a minute. Mine logs in automatically because I've used it before. Um, so I can't really show you that, but I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out. And so ideally what you want to get is um, you want to have it so that you see logged in as, and it's probably going to say Michael Merzieski on yours, um, but there it says logged in as Spencer Merzieski. Once you're there, you know you're good. Um, and then we'll go through the next options. Okay, and so on this screen, there's uh, a couple of things to look at. First of all, um, you can do either an existing album or a new album. If this is your first Facebook photos, you would have to do new. But if you click on existing, it gives you a list of the ones you've already put up if you're going to add it to an old album. But for now, I'm sure you're going to want to do new. So type in a name for the entire album. If you want to, you can put the location where they were taken. Um, and if you want, you can put a little short description. But those are entirely optional. And sometimes people do them, sometimes they don't. Uh, so you won't look like a Facebook loser if you film and it's really fine. Normally I title mine just something like pictures there. Um, and if you want in the lower boxes, you can add a caption to the picture. And if you want, you can tag people. Um, but I generally do that on Facebook. So if I were you, I'd probably just leave them blank. And then in the lower right hand corner, you can see where it says export. Click on that. And now it says ready to export and it gives you this little like terms of agreement statement. Uh, I mean, go ahead and read through it, but you're ultimately going to be clicking continue. Okay, and so with my um, free computer software, I can't show you uh, it actually thinking, but it thinks for a little bit and it might have like a progress bar going across the scene, screen that says like uploading. And then you get this option where it says um, export success, review Facebook album or back to iPhoto. For now, just do back to iPhoto. Um, I'll do another one of these where I show you what the reviewing the Facebook album bit is. The last thing that I wanted to show you right here is that if you want to do multiple photos at once, you hold down shift while you're clicking and then you get all of them in the uh, yellow boxes. And then you would just go up into the top and click file export again, and then they'd all show up at once. So it's a little bit faster if you've got a bunch. Um, 
I think that's all for this one. And I'm going to try and put up another one where I show you what you do now that they're actually up on Facebook.